What's up guys, my name is Gustavo from ELX Pro and let's learn Elixir in just one video. In this video, you're gonna learn almost everything that you're gonna need to use Elixir as your next language. Hope you enjoy and bye bye. So first of all, let's start creating a Elixir project called uh, Learn in one video. So now we can open our project. If you don't know how to set up your local machine to use Elixir, I highly recommend the video uh, in some place here in the description too. And now what we're gonna do is that if you already follow some videos from Elix Pro, I teach that uh, Elixir provides for us a simpler way to execute TDD so I highly recommend you to download this dependency so this is the first thing that we are gonna do you can just copy this dependency called mix-watch which is fantastic and for me we should have it on our default elixir application now mix get. Now we can execute watch. And I think it's enough for us to start creating our first algorithm. So what we're gonna do is that uh, we need to handle with uh, some uh, things related to Elixir. So if you go to Elixir uh, learn, so if we go to Elixir Lang, let's see some, some topics that we can cover here. Uh, most of our time when you, when you are learning Elixir, what happened is that we have the elect learning Elixir, so we don't need those books right here. So we have the get started guide. So this is related to most topics that we are going to cover. So basic types, if you come from another language, it's fine. List and tuples, we're gonna learn a little bit more about it. Pattern matching, uh, we're going to cover here in case and condition too. And let's go ahead and start practicing. So most of your time, you're gonna use um, the pattern matching in case and condition and list tuples. Another thing that you can start seeing related to Elixir is that the enum, which is super interesting to use. But we have our test. So one of the things that I like of Elixir is that you don't need to trust on your code uh, that you build. You can trust on your test, test easily. So the algorithm that we're gonna build is Fizz, Buzz, underscore test EXS. Let's create the module. And then what we're gonna do is that uh, let's just use the X unity case. So when we are working with a uh, fees bus, what we have, we need to create the algorithm. The algorithm is so straightforward. So now we can say something like this. Uh, I'm using the copilot and sometimes copilot create a couple of things for me. But the most important is that when we say the number, let's just say execute the number three, what we want is a list of uh, numbers or something like that, where we're gonna say one, two, and because we have another number, we can say this. And we got the error saying that the module does not exist. So we can come over here and say this bus dot ex. And now we got another error saying that the function called execute 
does not exist so we just we're just gonna save the number here and our test now we have the module in function so which is basic from Luxor. so we created a struct a list with some some information so what we're we gonna do now is that we need to start handling with our number so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the enumerate right here we're not gonna use the recursion we can use that but let's cover a little bit more about the enum where we have one two number as you can see copilot is trying to help me i uh but in this case we are going to create this by ourselves uh as you can see we could say that let's just play a little bit we can say just x plus one and the result is different because we're covering the unknown topic now and think that we can do now we are handling with the fees bus the number should be uh, rest of uh, odd number and specially related to the number three and number five and the rest should be equal zero so let's cover a little bit more about some topics here we could say keys and the case will be if using tuples here like this way you can read a little bit more tuples we usually uh, create to uh, explain the operation if, if success or error in this case we're gonna use uh, as a pattern matching is and to practice a little bit more about elixir so we're gonna say like if it's equal zero and rim x five equals zero what we're gonna do is that if it's true on both we can say this bus if it's the same we're gonna have a number to do that but in our case specifically now if is true and false we can say this and if it's false and false we are going to say x number one of the rules is missing here and as you can see it started returning the it's still returning the three number so what else is missing here so oh I made a mistake here it's number three and there you go our first uh, um, algorithm is working now let's try another number how about if we try the number five so let's see the result and it's complaining because we don't have one of the calls related to uh the bus so related to the bus is just one uh, more row which is is different of this one where it's false and true and we're gonna say bus and there you go so now what we have is that we started to have our algorithm we have the number four so we should have like fees and buzz fees for buzz sorry so we can come over to our test we can see that we have number four and buzz just one more thing for testing how about we need to start having more uh, 
detailed details about our algorithm. So what we're gonna do is how about the number five? Oh, sorry, the number 10. So now we have fees, seven, eight, bus, something like that. And just one more topic to cover to start creating a refactor. There you go. Let's say number 15. So as you can see, now we have the fees and bus because the number right here is rest of three and rest of five. So which is great. So we can just copy and test. Usually we create the test first, but in this case it's just to explain a little bit more. So let's just create this guy here. Everything is working. Now things that we can do. We have learned about uh, some pattern matchings here. We learn about the case, so you could use the condition and unless two, you can cover some of that. And one of the things that we can learn here is the anonymous function, which is great too. So now we can say uh, check face bus where we are going to have a function with the number x and then and and then we can just um, copy the case statement here and paste it then we can just come over here and say something like um, in this way and means that we are learning now the anonymous functions too. So what we're gonna do is just uh, giving the and one and the result must be the same. Also we can just say something like uh, check check this bus x and do with the same struct here we can get rid of this code right here and say something like this and also things that we could do right here is that we got the check this bus we could say something like um um calculate this bus and we could right here just get the uh, ring one, which is gonna be this guy right here. Let's start using the pattern matching for this in this way. And then uh, what we're gonna do is just, so we got the result, we could say ring number one and ring number two, where we can get rid of this, rid of this two, and then we could say this bus if it's true and true, are going to say this one let's just replicate it and if it's false and true bus if it's true and false let's say that face and if it's false for all of them we could say um X. No, we don't have the X here, so my apologies for you. Let's just say something like using the pattern matching right here. Let's say X, which is the most important for us. In this case, because we already have the conditions, we could ignore it. 
and then we can just give here the X. So this is just a way to practice a little bit more. And all our test is working too, which is great. So we have covered a couple of topics related to the Fizz Plus. Uh, we are using the enon.math. So we've learned about the basic types because we are using the string, the integer, and the boolean. Just the most values that you are going to use. We're going to learn about the list and tuples too. We learn about the pattern matchings. We learn about the case and conditions, uh, anonymous functions too. Um, one of the things that I would like to cover more, a little bit more. So this is what we are doing is most of like 80% that you're going to use when you are using a listener. Let's just cover a little bit more, uh, more about the recursion. So we have the four, so it's the four from Elixir, uh, from other language. So the power of Elixir is because we have four. But let's try using uh, like a recursion here, which is great too. So what we're going to do is that we have this calculation. We could say that we need like this number here and we got the check this bus and what we're gonna do is how about if we have um let me see how does that work i never did that using this way um or maybe i think it's enough let me think i'm gonna try to be honest with you so we can have a uh, recursion. Re re We're gonna say a uh, number, and we're gonna start with using this way. Um, never mind. I think it's enough to cover because uh, I'm not. I never tried to use in this way. But I think that was enough for you to start uh, learning uh, about Elixir syntax.